should be looking at a team in red at this festive season. We are, in fact, looking at the dominant force in English football during the 70s. I think to pay tribute to them for their consistency and their skill, which has brought them four championship titles, four appearances in Wembley Cup finals, two UEFA Cup wins, and two successes in Europe's biggest prize, the European Cup. Ray Clements has been a part of all those triumphs, and arguably the lineup in front of him is the most entertaining side that Liverpool have put out during the 70s. So a daunting task for Derby County, who this afternoon introduced their 26th different player. He's Trevor Weimark, who's come to them from American football via Sparta Rotterdam. Formerly, of course, with Ipswich, and he now takes his place in the front line alongside Roger Davis because John Duncan is still troubled with a back injury. And talking of the 70s, Derby County have run something pretty close to the full gamut of triumph and disaster, with two championship wins, but very much a decline in the second half of the decade. George Tyson of Sunderland is our referee this afternoon. It's a cold afternoon, but that's how it should be at this time of the year. And Derby County looking for a repeat of their performance against Nottingham Forest against whom they recorded very much their best win of the season 4-1 here at the baseball ground two home matches ago and Weimark wins the first touch and here's Davis and the referee's given the penalty the referee's given the penalty matter of seconds into the match for a foul by Neil on Roger Davis well the Liverpool players look stunned the referee looked at it, thought about it, pointed at the spot. But the Liverpool players obviously feeling that he bounced off him and there was no intention by the Liverpool defender to bring Davis down. So Ray Clement has to try to save the penalty before he's had a touch of the ball. And Roger Davis to take it and scores. His first league goal since they brought him back here. Well, they got a gift against Nottingham Forest when Peter Shilton dropped the ball, and they've now been given a gift against Liverpool. And we've had exactly a minute's play as we kick off for the second time. touch in rather happier circumstances than Clements. Gordon Ellison, second from the right as we look in the dark coat. Now bouncing all over the place, Rio gets it away and Daly gets it up in the air. <laughs> look at David Webb. Heaven's sake, the Panzer division has arrived. Kennedy will take the free kick. And that is an own goal. And Roger Davis has scored at both ends. 17 minutes of the match. And Roger Davis, who couldn't get among the goals, has scored twice, but made the score one apiece. Ray Kennedy's free kick. The ball coming off the top or high on the forehead at Roger Davis and curling over a goalkeeper who was completely static. Buckley. Now what change of temperament will that produce? Oh, that's a beauty and well saved! Vicious curling shot by Jimmy Case. And David McCullough got up to turn it over. Fine shot and fine save. Davis and Thompson. And here's Weimark. Well, he tried to get the high looper. Ray Clements was pretty confident where it was going. He was covering his right hand post. Langan. 
Webb. Going forward, he says. Davis. Daly. Emery forward. Three in the middle. Daly making it four. Here's Weimar. And here's Rio. Flashed at, hit hard, but hit wide. And we come to the end of a curious, but nonetheless entertaining half, with Roger Davis playing both the part of Prince Charming and one of the Ugly Sisters. A magnificent shot by Jimmy Case that deserved the goal, but he was denied by David McKellar. And some fine, determined play in midfield by Jerry Daly for Derby. And at the interval, it's 1-1. One, one. Johnson. Soonis. Neal. Down with the head, case wide. The referee obviously feeling that he played over the top of the ball. McDermott scored on match of the day against Nottingham Forest in December of last year. And that was the last time a penalty has been scored by Liverpool and the last time one was awarded in a league match. And he puts that away so beautifully taken in the 54th minute and the goalkeeper's weight was to his left and McDermott tucked it low and right into the corner at the bottom of the stanchion and Davis really ought to have got nearer to that Webb couldn't cut it out and it goes to Douglish and here is Johnson and that is three He was left bereft of any cover. Dermot. Neil. Away by Osgood. Alan Kennedy. Oh, he wasn't very happy about that. Alan Kennedy, and he put in a kick on Rio. Rio, in fact, appealed to the referee not to do what he's about to do, which is to book Alan Kennedy. Well, the expected results, but gained in surprising fashion. Well, Paisley goes away, and we look at the man on whom the whole thing turned, the penalty incident in the 52nd minute, his foul on Kenny Douglish, McDermott taking and scoring the penalty, the first that Liverpool have had for over a year. And from that point onwards, the points were Liverpool's. David Johnson just getting the third goal. There might have been more, but it would have been very hard on Derby County, particularly on Jerry Daly and Trevor Weimark, if there had been. The final score, Derby County 1, Liverpool 3.